Hello, my name is Jacob Bennett and welcome back to Aurora 4X. So, last episode we have developed one of the most powerful engines in the history of everything, because we can't actually research anything else. Uh, we have uh, terraforming that's going good, we've got research rate going good. Um, so, last episode we actually got rid of um, half of our stuff, um, because starting with 8 billion population is a teensy bit overpowered um, but now we're kind of back up to the original pace due to the amount of research labs I built and uh, we're working on trying to get an automated colony uh, so automated mines onto Luna um, because Luna has stuff and we want to use it um, actually alternatively we can uh, put a mass driver onto one of these asteroids out here that have been scanned uh, so that we can uh, use their resources instead of using Luna because Luna we can have a colony on so people, actual people. However uh, if we go over to why aren't you loading? There you are. Right. Um, so if we go over to summary we can see that we have um, 11 mass drivers. So I built 10 for the colony that we're going to set up and 1 for receiving. So the way that mass drivers work is each mass driver will send uh, 5,000 tons per year, 5,000 tons of resources. Um, however, you only need one mass driver to be able to catch it. If you don't have a mass driver and the mass driver is aimed at the planet, then you're going to lose a lot of people as it collides and blows up and kills everyone. Um, I also assume that we're working on automated mines, so that's good. Uh, we probably want to start saying, hey look, we want to colonize this place. So let's go over to minerals. Um, so we want this person, we're going to create a colony. Uh, Maya, well, we'll be able to get you pretty easily, so we'll do that. IO, um, yes, 85 IO, yeah, colony. No, you're not even worth it. Nine of one resource. That's stupid. Uh, Adoria, wherever that is. There we go. Uh, Hygieia, definitely, definitely, because that's got a lot of resources. We're probably going to send over there first. Uh, Gedra, nah. Ankle, ankle, probably. Where's that? Ankle. Do, 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 do. Here, right. Ah, that's uh, that's a comet. Okay, we probably want to get to the comet first. So, in Earth orbit, we have, uh, well, in shipyard, we have the FT Victory zero zero one, the first Victory cruiser that we've ever uh, that we've ever constructed. Well, Victory transport. Um, so we're going to create our own uh, task group. So we're going to detach. And then we're going to rename this task group. Um, cargo task group. So this uh, task group is going to have all of our um, all of our guys. So all of our cargo ships, and that's going to be sending stuff uh, over to uh, the colonies that we want. Right. So, first of all, we need to set up some special orders. If, uh, so your default is to go to nearest, uh, nearest planet, no. Nearest colony, refuel, no. Move mineral source, no. Terraform, no. Okay, you won't have any special order, but conditional. If your fuel is less than 10%, Refuel at colony. So, because this thing can hold uh, 2 million stuff, uh, it doesn't really matter how much fuel they have, they'll be able to get back to Earth, I believe. Actually, no, we'll, we better make that 20%, really, because otherwise bad things could happen. Um, actually, how's our fuel situation? Yeah, you've got 100% fuel, that's good. Right, uh, that's that. So, what I want you to do is I want you to 
refuel from Earth, load mass driver, maximum amount to load 10, no, load 1, load a mass driver, and then go to ankle, I think it is, is it ankle? Yeah, ankle, and then um, unload mass driver. And then, no, we probably want to get rid of the refuel from colony. How do I delete that? Alternatively, we can say go back to Earth, and then you want to move to Earth. So that should be good. Right, uh, so if we get them doing that, um, so ankle is over here. So if we say five days, look, it got there in five days. That's amazing. From here to here, five days, stupidly fast. Um, so I believe ankle should have the thing. So if we go over to here, go to ankle. Uh, yeah, we have one mass driver, good. Um, so we just need to wait five days and then you'll get back to Earth. Excellent. Uh, Earth, what are you building right now? No, I don't want I don't want wealth and trade, I want building. You're building automated mines, you're going to be finished in a few years. Hmm. Yeah, well, we should probably leave you to it. Yep, so let's advance... Uh, no, 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 we can do something better. Um, so we've got ankle. Um, what are the other colonies that we have? Uh, we have... What's that? Why do we have a why do we have a colony on a place that I don't know about? Potentia. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna get rid of that colony if I can. Can I abandon? There we go. Yeah, sure, I'll abandon that. No, what's your mining and maintenance here? You don't have anything. Why the hell are you a colony? Bye. Weird. Right, uh, so we want... Which one has the most? Probably going for IT5 IO. No, Ankle. Ankle first. Okay, so Ankle has one, so we want uh, Adoria. So Ankle, Adoria, 85 IO. Um, Maya. Okay, Adoria. Uh, yeah. Asunuria, I can't say that. Uh, Maya and yeah. Okay, good. Right, so I've got all of them highlighted down there. Uh, let's get our task group. No, no, not that. This one. Right, can't go task group. I want you to go to Earth. Load a mass driver. Load one mass driver, rather. Uh, load one mass driver at Earth. Then we want you to go here and unload mass driver. Then we want you to go here and load mass driver. And then we want you to go here unload mass driver, go to earth, load mass driver, what's, what's mass driver, mass driver, am I blind, yes I am, good, uh, so that's Maya and then we want 85 IO,
So that's that Maya 85 IO and then Odoria. Unload mass driver. And then I want you to go back to us. So this guy should be able to throw mass drivers all about the universe very quickly. Uh, so if we do like auto turn at one day at a time. Look how fast this is going. That's one day. And look how slow the survey vessel is going. Good, right. That's completed orders. So we should have um, a decent amount of people having uh, mass drivers. So we should have Ankel has a mass driver, you have a mass driver, mass driver, mass driver, mass driver, mass driver. No, Luna doesn't have one. Uh, we should probably have one on Luna. Escape is not the button. Um, mass drive, no, wrong button. Here we go. Uh, cargo task group, go to Earth. Load one mass driver. Go to Luna. Unload mass driver. Earth. Move to. Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll say you refuel. Refuel from colony. There we go. Complete that, please. Right, let's continue. Research complete, fuel consumption, that's good. You haven't got any more research stuff, haven't you? No, you don't. Right, power and propulsion. Let's get uh, right, let's get the minimum engine power modifier. Mr. Cameron Flynn, uh, you're also gonna get the maximum and the fuel consumption. Because if we can reduce the fuel consumption down to 0 0.1, then we've increased our fuel efficiency by 10. Well, by a factor of 10. That's good. Good? Good. Nice. How are our automated mine system? We've got some remaining. Yeah, and we're, we're also getting a nice stockpile of resources, which is very nice. Research completed. Good. Continue. Right. Okay. Right, let's stop the auto tents, please. Uh, let's go and design a new ship. Now, this ship uh, is going to be uh, the Agincourt class um, colony ship. Is there a colony? Yeah, colony ship. There we go. So this will uh, transport people over to other planets, essentially, uh, so that we can colonize Luna and everything else. Uh, so what we need is we need, um, well, first of all, we need our engine. Let's get two of those. Look at the speed it's going at, stupidly fast. Um, we also want uh, cryogenic uh, transport, how many people can that hold? So that can hold 10,000 people. That's not much. Let's do that. No, let's double that. So now we can hold 100,000 people, so that's 0 0.1 million people uh, at a time, which should be able to uh, redistribute a lot of stuff. Um, that should be good. What else do we want? No, we don't want passengers. We want cryogenic births. Okay, that should be good. Um, do we need cargo handling systems? Let's say we do, and let's get eight cargo handling systems. Right, what's our speed? 1.18, that's nice. Um, what's our range? 4.3 billion. We're probably going to need some more fuel cells. 
though really I don't. But I'm going to get some anyway. Let's put it up to 17.2 billion so it can get to the edge of the system and back a few times. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, right, so we've got that. If I'm thinking correctly, if we go over to manage shipyards and go to Spud Iron Works, I think. Um, Uh, we probably need another shipyard to be able to build um, the colony ship. How big was the colony ship? The Agincourt colony ship, uh, 33,000 tons. How big was the Victory? 35,000 tons. That should work. Hmm. So uh, what you can do is you can actually uh, have one uh, shipyard that's outfitted to outfit one ship. You can have it outfit two different types of ships, um, which is what I'm trying to do, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Manage shipyards. Never mind. That's fine. Well, we have colony ship design now. Uh, another thing that we want to design is we want to design um, the Arc Royale uh, geological survey vessel. There we go. So this thing will want the advanced geological sensors. So that gives uh, what a very very good amount of time. Uh, let's throw in the engine. This goes at 5.7 kilometers a second, which is at least 10 times the speed of light. Yeah, we're going at light speed here, and, and seriously, it goes miles. Look, 41.5 billion at 84 days at full power. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of ridiculous. Let's give it some fuel storage. Good. Uh, and then you are going to want to go on for 12 months. And if we if we didn't have uh, the deployment time increase, then it's going to slow down how fast we can geological survey things. That's good. So we have the Arc Royale geological survey vessel that's ready for construction. Let's go and see if we can produce it in one of our um, nice nice little. Um, things. Can we produce it here? No. Can we produce it in the Spud Ironworks? No. Hmm. Looks like we're going to need another shipyard, or we can in or we can retool um, for a new class, the Arc Royale. Uh, that will be done in November. Good. Because we don't need the old ship. Whoa, crew morale failing? What was that? Oh, the Eve. Okay, uh, let's go and recall that ship in. Let's get rid of its um, default action and let's stop you. Actually, no, you can, ge you can do feeds. Uh, let's head get you back to Earth. Um, yeah, move to Earth. There we go. Uh, shipyard has been modified. We have done some more research stuff. Nice. Arc Royale can now be constructed at Failure and Sun's Dockyard. Good. Right, let's build that. Build uh, the Arc Royale geological survey vessel. It's actually using quite a lot of iridium as well. Not iridium, iridium. There's a difference, trust me. Uh, right, let's add task. Uh, so we've got to shipyard tasks, that'll be finished. Um, wow, in what? 20 days here? Eh? Like, 
I don't know, something ridiculously fast. Uh, we've completed, we've upped our research speed, which is fantastic. Uh, right, let's go construction production. What else can you do? Keep on laughing. Would you like to increase the research rate again um, for the next 10 years? Because increase research rate equals fast attack. 14 labs. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that should be done in seven years. Excellent. Or oh, 6.5. Right, let's continue. Uh, I believe that our ship has been constructed and no one told me. No, December. December. Okay, right. We'll wait. Uh, the GEV has completed its orders. Good. Right, let's get the other shipyard to scrap it. Um, manage shipyard spat iron works. I want you to scrap the Eve. Add task. Ship scrapped. Excellent. Research completed. Good. You've started new research. Nice. Research completed. Railgun launch velocity 3. We're going to have ridiculous railguns if we encounter aliens, which we are going to. Uh, so that was Abigail Brown, right? Yes. Missiles, kinetic weapons. What do we want? Twenty-five centimeter railgun. Yeah, that sounds nice. You're going to be done in, you know, ten years. It's completely fine. Uh, let's increase the launch velocity. And what else was it? Or have we researched it? Yeah, that's fine. Let's continue. Uh, we have constructed automated mine on Earth. Good. Let's go over to task group one, uh, cargo task group. Nothing's in the GEV, so we'll get uh, Eve, so we'll get rid of it. No, we'll rename. Um, uh, so we'll name this the Sol. No, we won't. We'll name it the Survey TG. The STG, yes, definitely STG. Uh, right, so we've got our victory cruiser. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to Earth and load automated mines. Then go to... which one was it? Do I want... Uh, ankle, ankle, that's the one. I want you to go to ankle and I want you to unload automated mine. Okay, I think you can do that. Yep, and then uh, I want you to recycle the moves until you can't. Okay, am I good enough for you? Let's go. Uh, research completed, genome sequencing, we're going to continue doing that. Uh, Arc Royale has been constructed on Earth and assigned to Shipyard Task Group. Good. Uh, Arc Royale on the Survey Task Group, no, on the Shipyard Task Group. Uh, we are going to move you... How do we move you to another fleet? Um, naval organization, no. There we go, right. Move you over. There we go. Let's go over to the survey task group. Task group orders. Survey nearest body. Um, and then we're just going to see a ton of bodies just being surveyed. Right, three, two, one, go. Uh, research completed on terraforming rates at 0 0.002 atmospheres. That's excellent. We're going to increase the speed of terraformation by billions. Uh, so that was Max Reed, correct? No, Archie Parker. I was on biology. Uh, now we're going to increase that, like, increase that by a quarter, which is very nice. So it's Archie Parker, create. 
Yes, I want you to use five labs, even though you can use more. How's, um... Hmm. I don't really know what I'm working towards right now. Probably just creating colonies and terraforming. Research completed. Cameron Flynn. Good. Um, yeah, we can now half our fuel consumption from the base. What else can you do? Uh, we can decrease it again. Sure. Just going to keep doing this. Keep doing it, and then we'll have speeds and fuel for ages. Uh, good. More genome sequencing. Um, the Arc Royale has morale failing. Stop. Loading problem. Uh, failed to load mines. Good. Um, go over here. So it should say we have no more automated mines. No, we don't. Good. Um, so, Mr. Mr. FT Victory, how how is your morale? Your morale has dropped really, really low. No, it's not FT Victory. We want the Arc Royale. Your fuel is at 99. Uh, special orders. What's the next one? What can we do? Hmm. How do we make it so that if you're grumpy, you go back? Okay, yeah, morale has fallen below 50. Uh, it's exceeded its... it's doubled its deployment time, so let's get that back. Yeah, I should have... I should have had it so that it goes on for longer. I mean, what was on now? The fuel. The fuel is still 99%. Okay. Oh, that's because it's not going on full power. Okay, that's... that's annoying. Arc Royale. Stop doing that. Go to Earth and resupply. Did that improve anything? Let me check. Yep, it improved things. Okay. So we could probably say if supplies are less than 20%, uh, resupply at colony. That should work. Right, let's put on the auto turns. Uh, ooh, we have ten inactive labs. I forgot to do something. Right, who did things? Oh, we've got a new construction production person. That's fine. Our sensitive and fire control person just finished the biology stuff, I guess. Um, to which I say, no, you haven't. Keep going. Because the more of this stuff that we complete, the better it will be when I decide to actually use this genome sequencing. I feel we'll leave that there for today. Um, so, uh, so what we've done is we've uh, constructed new ships. We've got a new survey vessel going out everywhere. We've put mass drivers on planets and things. And uh, I think we've set automated mines up on Enkel. Uh, last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to mining and maintenance and then we're going to go ankle you're going to set your driver destination to earth hopefully earth 
Earth. Do you have a mass driver? Yes, you do. You have five mass drivers left. That's good. Um, so, ankle, what are you producing per year? You're getting uh, 2.2 thousand um, materials per year, and you can send 5,000 uh, due to your mass driver capacity. Good. Right. So, if we move time forward a few days, we should see mineral packet to Earth. So that mineral packet will make it to Earth, and then we get some more stuff. That's only 69 tons, by the way. Hang on. Something happened. Minerals located. That's fine. Crew morale failing. Okay, never mind. Good, right. So uh, we're going to have to deal with the survey task group being a bit grumpy. Um, other than that, so if we... Where is it? Census, military, body info. Display 2. Right, so these are all the asteroids that we've surveyed. Quite a lot. Not all of them yet. They'll get, they'll get to it, but we're only going to show the asteroids that actually matter because the others really don't unless we want to popula um, populate all of the asteroid belt which I'm not going to do because that's a stupid actually that might be a good idea like build a huge ring around the entire solar system like connections between all the asteroids so that they stick together that would be fun no it wouldn't be it would be terrible and, and annoying but anyway uh, so next episode we will work on getting colonists over to Luna and getting the infrastructure required to actually have a colony there. Um, we'll set up some uh, regular mines there. Regular mines are used by the population instead of automated mines which are automatic but more expensive. Um, so yeah, until then my name has been Jacob Bennett. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.